Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discuss about your project efficient design of behavioral clock divider for multiple frequency. Here the frequency dividers are most important in frequency synthesizer that are based on a phase clock loop PLL. Okay, this uh, use of a dual model pre scales to enhance the versatility of the designs in both integers and fractional frequency synthesizer. The selections of the acceptable division ratio is dependent upon the channel spacing and frequency range of the synthesizer. There are several techniques for this clock divisions in electronic systems, including the injection lock looped. Uh, frequency clock divider, complementary injection lock looped frequency clock divider, flip flop based clock divider and dual model clock dividers and modular clock divider. Therefore, this approach has some advantages and disadvantages such as a reduced jitters and restricted frequency turning range, increased circuit size due to the addition of an LC tank circuit, increased power consumptions and lower quality factor. This work aimed to addressing the certain issues pertaining to clock dividers and process uh, inequ designs that utilize a multiple digital frequency divider based on D flip flops. This architecture design is a predicated on your use of a phase shifting mechanisms using a D flip flop which efficiently control the division ratio. The present set involves the use of the preliminary phase shifting melody in conjunctions with the digital clock manager. The auto tuning strategy described in this study aims to adjust the phase difference between two differential clock signals by intentionally inducing metastability in one or more flip flops. The proposed approach utilizes the digital clock managers in the clock divider to mitigate the effects of metastability and, and reduce the jitter noise across multiple tuning frequency. Furthermore, this logic and power conceptions we have analyzed with the Xilinx pattern 6 FPGA and support we have used Verilog HDLs and this simulation we have done with modelism software. Okay. Now we can verify the architectures and internal outputs. Okay, so here you can verify the proposed abstract advantages and disadvantages, and this is the block diagram of the proposed architectures. Okay, so here initially we have start with the uh, digital clock managers. It will be uh, generate a clock frequency, and that clock frequency it will be given to multiple number of D flip flops. Okay, so here we have used four D flip flops for four different clock frequency. Okay, so one is 20 mahertz, 10 mahertz, 5 mahertz, and 2.5 mahertz. Okay, and input clock frequency also we have taken as a output that is a 40 mahertz. Okay, but the DCM input clock frequency is 50 mahertz. Okay, so this clock frequency we have given a differential clock frequency that is a clock P and clock N. Okay, so output of this D flip flop, the first D flip flop that is a Q bar, it's given as a feedback to the the first D flip flop. Okay, and the output of the first diff flop q value it's given as a uh, clock to the second diff flop this is the architecture based on clock divider so we have used reference paper for this architectures it will be used in new all digital frequency divider and phase shifter okay here in the figure 2 the reference architectures they are given okay so as per this architecture the proposed architectures will be developed and we have reduced the meta stability state using a digital clock manager okay so here uh, this architectures we have developed with a Verilog HDL okay and uh, so here you can see all the coding types okay and we have simulated in modelism software okay so this is a simulation output okay so here uh, you can check the clock N 50 mahertz and clock P 50 mahertz okay so here differential clock frequency means so P is a normal clock and N is a complement of the clock okay so here you can check the differential clock okay and uh, you can analyze the clock frequency here so i place the cursor and rising edge to rising edge so you can analyze here it's a 50 mahertz okay and uh, the output of the dcm it will be produced a 40 mahertz okay so now i'll pause the cursor here okay okay so it's 40 mahertz and you can analyze the next uh, clock it's a 20 mahertz It's a 20 mahertz. Okay, and next clock you can analyze it. It's a 10 mahertz. 
and next clock you can analyze it it's a 5 mahertz it's a 5 mahertz and the next clock is 2.5 mahertz okay so here we are start from uh, 50 mahertz uh, and it will be come up with a 40 mahertz okay to reduce the, uh, the point sequence okay so why because 50 divided by 2 means it's 25 20, 25 divided by 2 means it's come with 12.5 and 12.5 divided by 2 means it's come with 6.25 okay so for this floating detections uh, we have initially convert this clock to 50 to 40 mahertz after that it will be convert uh, as a division part okay so clock dividers we hand possible to divide as a uh, divided by two concept okay so if we need a divided by three divided by four or divided by five okay the, that's also possible but but we use a uh, dcm for that okay so here uh, you can analyze the 40 mahertz 20 mahertz 10 mahertz 5 mahertz and finally come up with the 2.5 mahertz okay and uh, this output we have synthesized in uh, Xilinx Spartan 6 LX9 FPGA and uh, you can analyze here number of slice registers number of values and uh, number of occupied slices and IO base okay so here this all parameters it will be take very less logic sizes uh, including DCM okay so here it will be take 8 number of slice registers and 5 number of values and IO base equal to 8 okay so we can use this clock divider in any applications okay uh, and synthesis report you can check delay okay it will take around 2.260 nanoseconds okay and you can analyze the RTL schematic okay so here initially the 250 mahertz clock it will be given to the digital clock manager and output of this digital clock manager it will be given to buff G okay and uh, we have taken a clock output 40 mahertz parallelly and this output given to the first default clock okay so this is the first d flip flop and output of this d flip flop q value and qb value we are taken and qb value is a feedback output okay it's a data input and q value given to the clock of second d flip flop and parallelly we are taken as a 20 mahertz clock okay and this is a clock of uh, second d flip flop and here also same qb is a feedback and q is a clock okay 10 mahertz okay so it will be followed up to 2.5 Arts, okay so this is the internal architectures okay and after that uh, you can analyze the report for this project okay so here uh, proposed architectures up to that we are already seen okay so here frequency divider okay so this is a related nodes you can analyze here okay so clock divider what is meta stability and the internal architecture based nodes and the VLSI nodes okay so everything uh, we are given here and finally come up with the literature survey okay references okay thank you